Let's take some time with a technological marvel, the prestigious Range Rover HSE. Under the hood of the Range Rover HSE, you're going to find a 4.4 liter V8. This engine produces 300 horsepower. Now, Range Rovers are full-time all-wheel drive vehicles. You don't select between two and four-wheel drive. The electronic management uh, just handles the torque transfer for you. Uh, you do have four-wheel traction control as well, uh, which does work in, a, in agreement with this car for the snow situations. But uh, 300 horse, routed through a six-speed automatic transmission. Uh, there's just so much technology on the Range Rover. It's, it's tough to know where to start, but we're going to try. Range Rovers really don't have many options. They come virtually standard with uh, a lot of great features. Uh, as you can see on here, you've got the front park sensors. Uh, there's also rear park sensors as well. Uh, headlamp washers. These are by Xenon headlamps, high and low beam. Uh, go to the wheels here. You've got a 19 inch tire here. It's a 255-55 R19. These are the Michelin Synchron tires, which are the original equipment tires on this particular car. Uh, there's probably about 60 to 70 percent of tread uh, left on these tires, and they are quiet on the road, uh, as you'll see shortly as we take it for a ride. Uh, going back down the body, obviously in gorgeous condition. The Range Rovers are built rock solid. I mean, listen to that. Slam. Will make a difference. Uh, coming back to the rear here, uh, once again you can see the rear park sensors. Uh, it's a unique design back here. You've got a flush wiper mounted up here, and also a backup camera. Uh, this illuminates the navigation screen. Clamshell design for the rear. It's a pretty neat way to uh, get in here. Easy loading capability. Uh, the lift up floor is not too bad. Uh, height adjustable suspension as well, so the car actually uh, will raise itself up and down. It is on the access setting right now. Great to tailgate if you're a football uh, fan. If you want to take a look in here, we've got two particular pieces of uh, equipment. The six disc DVD changer, that's for the rear seat DVDs. You've got headrests in both. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, monitors in both headrests up front. This is the navigation drive for the navigation uh, disc up front. So just close that. Looking around to the passenger side, as you can see, excellent quality of this truck. Body's virtually flawless, tires, wheels, everything's in great condition. In the back seat of the Range Rover, the passengers definitely ride in luxury as well. Uh, this particular Range Rover is outfitted with the factory DVD system. That gives you twin screens in the headrests. As you can see, we got a movie playing on it right now. Uh, you also have heated seats for the rear outboard occupants. So uh, these guys are also uh, just as toasty as you guys up front. You also have down here uh, an auxiliary port as well. Uh, this is something where you can plug in your iPod as well as a uh, you know any other form of uh, media, be it a video game system or whatever. Uh, really an unbelievable system. It is paired to a Harman Kardon sound system. It's a 710 watt system with 14 speakers, 5.1 uh, digital encoding. So when you watch a movie on these screens back here, it actually sounds probably like one of the best home theaters you've ever heard. Behind the wheel of the Range Rover, you have a perspective that uh, few other vehicles can offer, uh, as well as some amenities. Uh, i got a heated steering wheel in my hand right now. Uh, obviously, all the multifunction controls right on there. Uh, navigation, uh, touch screen, I may add. This is also your uh, facility for using the audio-visual, as well as uh, radio and CD player functions. Uh, they do control the rear TVs as part of the uh, rear entertainment package. Uh, heated seats up here, you have heated seats in back as well, dual zone climate control, uh, front and rear park assist, you do have a rear camera, which uh, at a stop will uh, highlight there, you hear the beep there, and uh, see the view of where we're just coming from, shift the car back into drive, uh, the, the feeling of actually driving a Range Rover is different than any other truck, the 
upright feel. You can see over the entire hood, the windows are cut low. The steering wheel feels great in your hand, but uh, very confidence inspiring. These really drive, they don't drive like trucks, they drive more like a, let's say a Mercedes S-Class uh, that are you know, delicately weighted in a lot of ways. Uh, it does have a little bit rougher of a ride, but it's not a ride that uh, compromises performance. It's, you got a 300 horsepower 4.4 liter V8 in here. That's made into a six-speed automatic transmission. Uh, it's routed to an all-wheel drive system. You can't feel it, it doesn't bind. Uh, it's automatic. You also have a dynamic stability control. That's uh, traction control and stability control built into one system. Going down the road in the Range Rover, the feeling is nothing but quality. This particular truck drives like a brand new one. The tires are very quiet. Uh, that indicates the uh, manner in which this car has been driven. Uh, but the V8 does definitely give you a nice distinct V8 sound. Great pickup for uh, you know a vehicle of this size as well. Uh, but just loafing along at 50 miles an hour. The uh, alignment's dead straight. The brakes are very, very, very good. The car takes up perfectly. What a feeling. There's very few cars out there that actually make you feel as important when you drive a vehicle as a Range Rover. I do have a copy of the Carfax report here. Uh, I was a one owner here in Illinois. Uh, corporate fleet looks like it was a lease uh, through corporation. Uh, it is a Carfax guaranteed vehicle. Uh, from Land Rover, when this car was new, the MSRP was right at $78,000. So with this equipment in this condition, it's an exceptional value. There's so much luxury and technology built into this truck and just the way it makes you feel. It looks, everything about it is pretty remarkable. Give us a call if you have any questions. We'd be glad to hear from you.